how was the how, how were the, the members of the Ottawa Police Service holding up? Because this was only the beginning. It continued for another three weeks or so. This is always a little tricky part for me, sorry. Want us to take a break uh, and oh, thank you, sir. It's okay. They were doing their very best under inhuman circumstances, like the city was, like the community was. It was too cold and it was too much. But they did their very best. And I'm grateful to them. And they should be celebrated. Not celebrated, that's the wrong word. They should be understood. Do you feel that they were misunderstood? Yes. Can you elaborate on that? I think I've given this testimony in parliamentary standing committees. Um, the level of disinformation and misinformation was off the charts. It was crushing to the members' morale. It was crushing to the incident command team's morale. It was crushing to my executive team's morale. I suspect it was crushing to the board. It was crushing to everybody. It was unrelenting. It was 24 hours a day. And I think by the end of the weekend, it had become a global story that mainstream media was following. And none of it was portraying in any way accurate the hard work of the men and women of the Ottawa Police Service and the partner agencies that stood with us. None of it. To this day, it hasn't. And that is very unfortunate because public trust and confidence in any police service, I believe, is the number one public safety factor. When any police service loses significantly public trust and confidence, that in of itself is a massive public safety threat and risk. It materializes in so many ways. I don't know if the commissioner wants me to elucidate, expand on that, but I'm happy to do so. And unfortunately, as quickly as the events unfolded on the morning and the afternoon of the Saturday, public opinion against the Ottawa Police Service and its members turned just as quickly and to the same unprecedented levels that were unrelenting, at least from my entire experience, up until February 15th. Well, you spoke of how the officers were misunderstood. Let's hope that this inquiry will be the beginning of that understanding. <laughs> 